so today is April 17th and um, I am making this video because I got a little surprise yesterday and here's what I got going on I have um, a home pregnancy test two of them and this one I took yesterday on April 16th 2014 and this I just took today April 17th 2014 and they have two lines and if you can see closely the test line is darker than the control line hi so this is the second part of the video the first part um, it was a week as a week ago so it was last Wednesday today is the next week Thursday so a week and a day later and yes it was a positive pregnancy test and I took the test on April 16th and it was very it was a very big surprise I wasn't expecting it to be positive um, I actually didn't have I was feeling a little bit off and my cycle was a week late and um, but that's not anything that's abnormal with me because even in September it was like two weeks late when that in that month so it was, it's not a big deal but um so my husband kept asking me if I was pregnant because of that and I was like no because that like I said it's not a big deal but I was at the store and I just decided to buy a test and <laughs> it was positive right away the um the test line was was dark immediately and it was darker than the control line and so I took that on that day and that was exactly five weeks and um, the next day I took the other test and it was the same thing it was a dark line um, so I didn't realize that I had any symptoms until um, the day after that I took the first test and I kind of put some of the symptoms that I had in my phone for five weeks so that was April 16th and um, that puts my due date around December 17th 2014 which is crazy because Elisa's birthday is December 22nd that's a lot to be going on in that month especially when it's Christmas also and Adri's birthday is in October and my birthday is in October so there's a lot going on between October and December but um so some of the symptoms that I was having having last week that weren't very extreme, but I just noticed after I was like, oh, so that's why this has been happening. I was feeling really queasy, like just you know, like kind of like motion sickness, like, and I had a lot of cramping, which I didn't think anything of. Um, I was gassy, and for the last the past couple weeks, I've been having a lot of insomnia. Like literally, I have no no desire to go to sleep like I just feel like really awake I was feeling really hungry which I thought was odd because I'm not usually a very hungry person and thirsty oh my goodness like I just wanted some water I just was just drinking a lot of water and then also last week I had noticed that when I was brushing my teeth my gums were bleeding and that only happens when I was pregnant that only happened when I was pregnant with Adrian and Elise so that was just weird and then being really hot I'm, I'm not usually not really hot person because I'm um, um, I'm anemic so I'm not really hot I'm usually really cold so this week six weeks in one day the symptoms have really picked up and it's like full-on and I gained two pounds since last week which is good because I'm very underweight and I want to gain more weight so I gained two pounds and the nausea has really picked up it is getting ridiculous like the nausea in a food aversion is really bad right now and it just hit me all of a sudden like this week like literally on Tuesday which was the day before it was six weeks like that morning was horrible I could not get up I could not get ready it was it was I was so sick and it took me so long I had to keep resting and then say just to eat and I, oh it started actually on that Monday this Monday my husband was still here um he's at back to work but his spring break was last week so he was still on spring break on monday and just eating breakfast it was like a chore 
and I didn't and nothing sounded good it was just ugh. like today has been horrible it's, it's, it seems like it's, it's just in the morning it's really really bad when I was pregnant with Adrian Elise with Elise it was all day with Adrian it was just at night this time it's like in the morning and it's like making it's just it's horrible trying to get ready in the morning and even to fix them food it's just the, the smell of the food the look the just the sight just even the, just talking about food just makes me sick and I'm extremely hungry so that makes it worse so I have this food aversion I'm nauseous and then I'm extremely hungry no matter how much I eat I'm still hungry I've never experienced that that hunger feeling that extreme hunger feeling and still being nauseous and then also just going to the bathroom a lot I mean that's that's typical um, because all the blood flows going to the to the uterus and everything it's, so I'm using the bathroom a lot and then sleeping I'm not really really tired but it's just like I'll just be sitting there all of a sudden I'm asleep and then I'll sleep in a deep deep sleep to the point where I don't even know what's going on around me and I just keep falling asleep and it's like but I'm not really here because I'm still in, having insomnia I'm still just up but I'll keep getting up in the middle of the night hungry so I'm eating in the middle of the night too never do that um I'm also very thirsty still I have to have a cold it has the, the when I drink it has to be very cold I can't drink warm anything it has to be extreme cold I don't want hot tea any of that I just want ice cold drinks um I'm bloated like my stomach looks like I'm showing already especially after I eat I get really bloated especially at night extremely bloated um I feel like weak and just sick just sick to my stomach hot still like extremely hot the heat was on I didn't want the heat on I'm like sleeping with no clothes on and I usually sleep with lots of clothes on because like I said I get cold easily I'm just really hot I want the windows open I need the breeze everybody else is cold and I'm just hot and then the last symptom I've been having I've been really dizzy and if I get up too fast and I'm just like woozy and just sitting sometimes I just get dizzy but overall I'm just feeling really sick and um it's been a chore to eat it's been a chore to to prepare food for the last week for the girls but um hopefully it will subside soon and then it's just I, I, I like fear like thinking about what I'm gonna cook for dinner or what I'm gonna eat for breakfast and lunch like all meals I fear because it's so difficult to to think about making the food and eating the food and literally when I'm sitting there eating the food it's like a chore to get it down so uh yeah and what it was at least I had sickness all day sickness I even had prescription because it was bad because I couldn't do anything it lasted for like six up to week 16 so I'm just thinking like okay maybe I have 10 weeks of this but Adri I think it stopped sooner so I don't know I'm just dealing with it right now I know it's not my husband doesn't like it because I'm not cooking like I usually do like I can, literally cannot cook in the house I can order food out but it doesn't mean I really want to eat it I really crave Mexican food I'm craving like like fruit like like, like a fruit like watermelon like something that's really juicy like a juicy fruit and oranges yeah like oranges I can eat oranges I'm not craving any vegetables so uh, and then sugar has completely disgusted me I have a really bad sweet tooth and if you watch my videos you see I like to bake but and usually every time I eat dinner I need to have a dessert this week I have been just appalled and disgusted by like, ice cream and cake and I just don't want anything to do with it and candy all the Easter candy they had I don't even want to have anything to do with it but I keep having oh I had a metallic taste in my mouth too that's another symptom that was different I was like why do I have, have this nasty taste in my mouth and so I had that initially and I still have that and so even mints are gross to me and I love certs and they're just disgusting so yeah those are what I'm dealing with now so this was just the introduction to my pregnancy vlogs for baby number three this was week five and six so I'll make a week seven and eight at when I'm eight weeks so I'll just put it all together until until I start after 12 weeks and I'll do weeks like all by themselves but if you want to continue to watch and subscribe and like the video and thank you for watching and see you later bye I thought I'd do a quick um
belly shot. My stomach is extremely bloated. I just ate lunch. So it's not gonna really show exactly what my stomach looks like. But since I made the video, I thought I would do it. And then my camera is completely broken. So I have to hold the battery in right now. Um, hopefully I'm getting a new camera soon. And I've had this shirt for years. But um, this is what my belly looks like. This is six weeks. Oh. Oh, your baby inside. It's a cute, cute baby. Yes, my stomach is very bloated. Now, the baby is only the size of a pea. You like it? Yes, very tiny, but it's making me extremely bloated. Aww, okay. Okay, I can, I can, I can. So. You're a baby, but it's so tiny. It's okay. It's just right there. Okay, okay. <laughs> So well, that's it. Now, next week it probably will look flatter because it's very I feel it. So that's that. Yeah, that's that.